guys just want to show you real quick a lot of times fruits and vegetables will be thrown out um, due to little imperfection you know some apples have a little bit of bruising or uh, for example this squash here I don't know if this was a result from it hitting the dumpster or whether this had happened in store regardless um, I do see a lot of times uh, fruits and vegetables things like that will get thrown out just because you know they've got a, a dent or some small imperfection in it basically because they don't look sellable this squash here as you can see the bottom end here has started to rot but all of this up here is still good so all you have to do really is just keep your knife in there and chop that bad boy off and you just want to chop until you get all of this grimy stuff off so that can all get thrown out or actually put into the compost but look you still have this huge piece of squash that's like perfectly good to use the same thing with this cantaloupe a lot of people would think oh you know you can't eat that but all you have to do get your knife in there and look at that Still perfectly edible and beautiful on the inside, right? We just chopped off the little bit that were uh, that was cracked. So, so this apple got a little scratch in it, and it started to bruise around there. You know, a lot of people will just throw that out. What we like to do with apples in this condition is, you know, you can make applesauce, you can make apple pie, you can do a lot with a bruised apple. But if you just want to eat it, you don't have to throw this whole thing out. All you have to do, as I did with the squash and the <clears throat> the cantaloupe, look at that. Now you got a perfect good apple that you can eat. Pretty freaking good. So yeah, a lot of it boils down to uh, the way that food looks. Restaurants want the food and the vegetables and the meat and the cheeses and all that stuff to look good, tasty. They want it to sell. It's a business for them. Um, so a lot of the times that's why food will end up in the dumpsters because, you know, small imperfections like that, they'll just chuck it out and, you know, they can't sell it. So instead of, you know, trying to make use of it or repurpose the food, they take the easy route and just throw it in the dumpster. So it's sad. Now this is something I can't explain because why all this was thrown out and not donated is beyond me. I'll give you guys. I can't get that. But all of these um, breakfast biscuits, they're still in their box, still in their container. Uh, they haven't even reached their, their expiration date or anything, but instead of like donating them, they've just thrown the whole freaking thing out. As well as uh, all of this basmati rice I got still in the package. We've got all these kidney beans. This thing is just loaded with kidney beans. Um, baby wipes still in the package. Just Throwing out the dumpster, you know, whatever, we're too lazy to go about uh, donating it, so we're just gonna chuck out the dumpster. These things of uh, chili, so this is a very common thing that I see. This is stuff that I can't explain. Why are they throwing this out? I couldn't really tell you, but this is still packaged, still perfectly good. I mean, this is expensive stuff. This is really not the brown basmati rice. This is like a full thing, and we've got about 12, 15 bags of that, so that's, you know, another shocking reality when it comes to, uh, you know, grocery stores and other businesses. Uh, throwing out their food. Anyways, we're gonna be cooking with this today. We'll make use of it at least, and then the rest that we that we don't use, we're going to be uh, donating to to the local family shelters and uh, homeless shelters. So at least it's going to be used. freaking crap load of food here so um, a lot of it's gonna get moved towards charities family shelters all that good stuff for example we have 11 bags of this basmati rice we have 21 bags of red kidney beans we've got baby wipes that aren't even haven't even opened yet this is all all getting donated all these little biscuit things they're all getting donated I just wanted to show you guys that when it does come to donation, obviously because this stuff has been in a dumpster, even though still packaged, no holes, perfectly good, um, people will be handling the outside of the bag. But we're just gonna make sure that this is thoroughly washed and thoroughly cleaned um, so that when people do handle it, 
there's no risk of them becoming ill. So, and there you have it. Kidney beans, basmati rice, guajillo chilies, baby wipes, popcorn, breakfast biscuits, apples, oranges, tangerines, grapefruit, blackberries, Meyer lemons, tomatoes, lettuce, more lettuce, onions, plantains, grapes, squash, cantaloupe, pears, broccoli, cucumbers, chilies, and mango. That sets our total savings for today at $207.24. One. All right, so here we are on the first recipe. Um, what are we going to be cooking? Uh, very simple butternut squash soup. Butternut squash, we had some onion, add a little bit of orange, salt, pepper. That's it. You heard it from the master chef. So we're going to start chopping up this bad boy then. And um, sorry, she's going to start chopping it up. I'm going to watch. Oh. You might have to jump in here because these are hard to cut. That was great. People have described me as the modern day He Man. I have a cleaver. Yeah, we might need it. We're having technical difficulties. Jesus. There we go. She's got the cleaver. I'm scared. Yeah, you should be watching down there. Yeah, right. I don't And that, my fellow chefs, <laughs> is how you chop open a squash in a very safe manner. So the idea, though, is to cut it into smaller chunks and then work on getting the... <laughs> and throw it on the freaking uh, chopping board like that? Work on getting the skin. All right, well, as uh, I'm chopping this up, I also want to get some water starting to heat up on the stove. We're going to be boiling this with the onion, a little bit of orange juice to until it's soft enough to... Right. Slapping this bad boy here, I believe is the technical term. <laughs> Show us how to pour water in a pot. I don't know how. You grab the pot, you put water in it. As simple as that. Watch and learn. It doesn't have to be too small, we're just looking for flavor and it's all getting pureed. Whatever that means. So chunks. Just for fun. I have no idea if this is going to be good or not. I'm Probably. Gonna do, I'm going to supreme it, which means take the skin um, and take the segments out from the membrane inside. We're going to, I don't know, just going to cook it up in the potato and the onion. See if it's uh, tasty. Let's see what can do. All right, so let's discuss. What are you going to be doing with that? I'm interested. I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is our mix, right? Butternut squash, the orange, the onion. Show the people what they want. We are going to add it to this pot of boiling water, salt, a pot, and then just let it cook until it's nice and tender. All right. We might have to add some water as we go. We'll see. It's such a mystery. Okay. What will happen? We don't really know. Well, one of us knows. <laughs> yeah. I'm clueless in this whole process. Yeah, so there you go. All right, we've got all of our butternut squash soup ingredients. They're going to be simmering until they're super, super tender, falling apart. And then um, while this is cooking, we're going to start the chili uh, sauce that's going to be drizzled on top of the soup and give it a ton of flavor, mm. a pop, if you will. Okay, well, before we even go move on to these, why don't we freaking advertise these bad boys right here? <laughs> Damn! These are not from the dumpsters, but they are very stylish nonetheless. Alrighty, so we are... Yes. Sorry, uh, R2-D2 that we've been holding hostage for the past seven days and we're gonna start to act up again. Back! Gee. He 
He was our only food. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are about to make the um, chili sauce that we're going to be drizzling on top of the butternut squash soup. This is going to give us heat. I'm adding some orange juice, give it some citrus brightness, some onion, yum yum. And I think that it's going to be a beautiful color and a nice pop flavor as well on what is basically a very basic butternut squash. So we're going to be um, taking the stem and the seeds out. The easiest way to do that is with a pair of scissors. I'm going to snip the top off like so. There goes your stem. And then you slide your scissor in so that you're going just along the long part of the chili. And you're going to open it up like a little book. And there you go. That is a cleaned out pepper. And you, oh, hey, <laughs> it's okay, don't worry. <laughs> Moving us swiftly along, we've got knife, onion, chopping board. What's going on? I don't know, let's find out. Um, again, like with the soup, we're gonna be pureeing the sauce so the size and shape of the onion doesn't matter too much. We want it small enough that it's gonna get nice and tender uh, so that it will puree nicely. So I'm just doing some rough chopping of an onion, really. It's simple. Keeping it, it, you know. Keeping it real. Keeping it simple. So, uh, oh, hello. All of a sudden, I'm the chef. Hi, welcome <laughs> to my show. First thing you want to do, make a little uh, cut right there. All right. You want to keep this thing very simple. Claw your hand. You're gonna claw your hand like this. That's it. Keep oh, your uh, fingertips out of the way. I'm a little bit confused as to how I'm gonna claw my hand, but that's okay. We're gonna keep it going. We're gonna bend. We're gonna claw. It. Bam. Look at the claw. This, the claw. this is the proper technique. All right. At this point, we got onion. We got the chili pepper. We're gonna just supreme the orange, add that to the onion so that we can toast pepper, add this stuff and cook it all up into the sauce. There we go. And that's how it's done, guys. Mm -hmm. What you can do too, once you remove the little segments, is just squeeze that whole center piece into our mix here because there will still be some uh, juice left in there. Yeah, so these are uh, what you just saw us prepping for the chili salsa. We've got Better. all of the uh, all of the chilies here. As you can see, all of them have been prepared. All the uh, seeds have been removed. We've got the onions here with the oranges. About half of the oranges. Sorry, half of the oranges, my bad. Uh, all of it diced up, supremed, all that good stuff. We've also got a bowl of water. I'm not gonna tilt this unless you wanna watch me uh, pour it all over the floor. <laughs> Everyone's like, yes, please. Um, so yeah, we got a bowl of water, and we also have a little thing of salt. Get all the salt in here. That's it. And that's it. So what's the next step? All right, next step is we're gonna get our pan heated because we want to toast the chilies just a little bit, and I'm gonna put these in just for like a maybe two or three minutes, just until we start to smell them, get a little bit of a until uh, our eyes until burn our after, and yeah. are red and are irritated, and uh, we have to go to the uh, emergency room. Wow, that's beautiful. So there's our um, toasted guajillo chiles. Just added water, a little bit of salt with the onion and the orange. I'm gonna burn that up to a boil and then let it simmer till everything's tender, about 15 minutes. And we're gonna be blending that up, adding more of the fresh oranges. And wow, that <clears throat> spice just hit me right in the back of the throat. Woo! So our uh, butternut squash, the onions, the little bit of orange I put in there, it's nice and tender. I'm going to strain out the liquid, but keep it. As we puree, we're going to add liquid to it, and you want the liquid that has all of the flavor from what you just cooked it in to go with it. So I'm going to start by straining Sounds it. Plan. That's a splash at us. Yeah, there we go. Our butternut squash and our onions prepped, cooked. Ready to go. We're gonna make a little show ring for you guys. All right, let's get this into. Teamwork really does make the dream work. What's the process like? What are we doing with the uh... Well, we're pureeing it, and what we want is the consistency of a soup. You can see how much liquid's already in there. What's the verdict? How do we how do we feel about the consistency? Color is very pretty. Mm-hmm. Okay, next step. Chilies are done, onions are done. This is all cooked down, as you can see. Mm -hmm. So we've really just softened those dried uh, chilies, 
and the onion in there with that little bit of orange that we put in there. I'm gonna pull it out of here and get it blended into a puree. I'm gonna finish it with the fresh orange segments and maybe a little bit of olive oil just to give it some creaminess. So um, yes, I'm gonna start by putting my peppers into a tan. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now that this has been blended up, we're going to add our oranges. Some of the fresh orange. Let's add a little bit, see what we like. Crank that baby up. All right, after like, what, 30 seconds? If yeah. that 45 seconds, this bad boy seems to be blended. Um, let's give it a taste test and see what we think. No, you first, chef first, go for it. Because if it's freaking spicy, she'll let me know. It needs salt, but... The orange in there. Take a seat, I saved you a spot. Oh my god. Five people asked for it and I said no. <laughs> Someone's sitting here. Alrighty, so this is the finished product. This is what we have put all of our energy into for the past uh, three days. We've cried, we've sweat, we bled, and this is the result of our efforts. So um, here we've got our soup. Yeah, I would, I would show you this, but I would spill the soup everywhere. We've got our butternut squash soup. Um, with onions in it as well as our, um, uh, what's the name of the pepper? I can't Guajillo. Guajillo. Guajillo chili, chili. Mm -hmm. um, with a bit of uh, orange. Onion. Onion. So yeah, this is the finished product. Now we're going to taste test it for you guys and you're going to get to watch our reaction. Will we like it? Will we hate it? Who's to say? Keep watching to find out. We will be honest. This is the butternut squash soup. You got dollop of the chili as well. Mm. What's the verdict? Mm. Oh, yes. With that chili taste in there. Bueno. That is excellent. Let me give this a shot. Oh, I don't believe you. It's really good. I thought the soup was missing a lot of stuff, but when you add that chili, in there, oh right? my god, you're so right. <laughs> yeah. We tried them separately at first, and I was like, uh, it's not so much, but when you actually combine the two, that's awesome. And the awesome. beautiful thing about this is that this was 100% free. This was all from the dumpsters of a local supermarket. So it's kind of a bittersweet thing. On one, you, you got the one side where it's like, oh my god, this is amazing. We just cooked this epic meal for free. And on the other side, it's like, Oh my god, this is shocking. I can't believe this grocery store threw out all this part of food. So, two thumbs up, four thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and we will catch you on the next episode of Cooking the Trash. Peace.